Hey everybody, welcome back. Stonebroke Adventure, episode two of the portable solar generator build. We're working on the 12 volt modular section of the build today. We'll bring you in close, but we have the battery uh, kind of positioned where we want it. We have the 55 amp converter charger kind of in the position we want it. Looks like we're gonna be putting the uh, Anderson connector right down here on the bottom. We have our cigarette lighter port and our USB port. They're gonna go right here, cigarette lighter, USB, same exactly on the other side, so two of each. We have our little monitor here for our battery monitor, dead center right there, right? Perfect location for that. We have our 120 volt input that's gonna power the converter charger. We're gonna put that on the other side, dead center on the bottom. And we're gonna have our 12 volt six way fuse block that we need to uh, install. We're gonna find a place for that. We don't know exactly where we're gonna put that yet, but once we get the other things in, we'll find a good location for that. <clears throat> that's gonna supply all the 12 volt power to the 12 volt accessories. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. Like I said, I'd like to thank Lead Time and Vivor for helping sponsor this project. So the Fuse Box is a Lead Time product. We have the 100 amp hour mini uh, lithium iron phosphate battery from Lead Time that they sent. Us. We have the shunt battery monitor that Lead Time had sent us. And of course the uh, 55 amp battery charger is from Vivor. Nice carry handle on that. That battery is, like I say, nice, lightweight. The handle makes it super portable, easy to move around. Just a really nice packaged uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. You see here our location for the battery, right? Dead center. We're gonna attach that strap to the back with some washers, little uh, stainless steel through bolts, right? We have the, the battery charger right up front course right up front that's where we're gonna have the battery monitor USB port so let's start uh, drilling holes and showing what this looks like with the components and stuff. nice mount for our 120 volt input get a little starter holes here put the 12 volt right up top. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, looks good. Okay, the next thing we need to put in here is our little Anderson connector bracket. It's nice and tight, but that looks really good. All right, and we'll be using that to charge uh, the batteries with the solar and the upper portion. This one's pretty gonna have to be really close tolerances. So uh, I'm gonna drill the corners out and then cut this out. We're having a hard time cutting that. 
just getting the saw blade in there. We're gonna see if we can actually melt it with a hot knife. Oh yeah, definitely. I think that's the way to cut this. There we go. And look, you can just like peel that off, that little drip edge. It peels right off with your fingernail. So definitely the way to cut a square hole into the box. Don't even need to use a saw. Use a little hot knife. All right, this battery monitor just clips in with friction connections. Let's pop that right into place. It should squeeze it nice and tight. Look at that. Oh yeah. There's the battery monitor. Okay, let's see what we got so far, right? We have our 12 volt cigarette lighter outlets. We have our multi USB, USB-C ports. We have our battery monitor mounted. We have our 120 volt inlet for our battery charger install. We have our six way 12 volt uh, fuse block. We have our flush mount Anderson connector uh, bracket. This will be coming off. We'll be wiring that in a little bit. We still have to mount the strap for the batteries and the charger, but I think what we need to do now, we need to wire. We need to wire this 12 volt circuit. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna wire two separate circuits. This cigarette, let, this cigarette lighter outlet and this USB port are going to run on the same circuit and then these are gonna run on the same circuit. We have plenty of spaces on that six space fuse block. So this will be one space, that'll be another space. So we need to create a little pigtail here. Little, little shrink wrap on that, tighten everything up. Let's make it look good, right? All right. We have our positive pigtail and we're gonna do the same thing with the negative. All right, we got a little pigtails here. Let's go ahead and plug these in to our outlets. Make sure you get your positive on the positive. All right, so we've run these in parallel. Positive, positive, we'll do the negative, negative. connect these to the bus bar. We've got the same scenario here. All right, this is gonna come back around and we're gonna get that wired up with Battery you. strap, right? Real simple setup. We've got these little can head through bolts, right? Drilled some holes in the back. We're gonna fasten that strap to that. That's gonna give a secure point to where we can strap the battery and the charger in. All right, we got the lead time, 100 amp hour, 12 volt battery, lithium iron phosphate. We got some little rubber pads underneath just to keep this from slipping around. All right, little hack here. We've got these Velcro strips with the sticky back, right? We're gonna use these to fasten the battery charger to the battery so we can remove it, it's not permanent right underneath the strap and that'll keep that battery charger from sliding back and forth. Get these centered up. The other one right here. And watch this, we're gonna put the loop section on. Well, this gives us the ability, right? Slide this down into the box. Set this right where we want it. All right. So now, all right, our battery charger is secure to that box. All right, we got everything strapped down here. Next step, circuit breaker. We've mounted the circuit breaker, all right? 250 amp, that's in line with the positive. All right, that'll be kind of the master cutoff inside the box. Now we gotta mount the shunt somewhere. We have the shunt in place, just through screwed that. All right, everything looks really nice, nice and clean. Now, I guess we're gonna install the battery and start uh, measuring and running some of the heavy gauge uh, wire. I'm gonna crimp 
our lugs onto our two gauge wire. All right, those aren't going anywhere, that was easy. All right, we're gonna repeat this step uh, after we measure and cut each wire. We're gonna crimp that lug on. All right, got our lug crimped. Now we're just gonna go ahead and heat shrink this. I have a heat gun that I should be using. I'll go ahead and get that out for the next crimps just to make everything look really good. You can see here, we have the main uh, uh, 12 volt lead coming off of the battery, going into our circuit breaker, out of our circuit breaker, right into our Anderson connector. We're using the connector on the circuit breaker. That's kind of a little bus bar to get the rest of our 12 volt connections. One of the 12 volt connections is going to our 55 amp uh, Vivor battery charger. We have our 12 volt coming all the way back here to our six way fuse block. Then that fuse block feeds power to all of our accessories. So that's the hot circuit. Also on the hot circuit, we have the main line, right? Powering our shunt, right? Right there is the shunt to monitor the battery. The shunt always is in line with the negative, right? That red line powers that shunt. We have the comm cable, shielded comm cam cable coming out of the back of the monitor, right? Coming right through here, plugs into the shunt. Real easy to install that shunt. So let's look at the negative circuit, right? We have <coughs> negative post on the lead time, 100 amp hour mini, right? Nice compact battery that fits really nice in this box. So we're coming out of the negative side, right? Going into the shunt or actually be coming out of the shunt. It is direct current, right? Then you have this main coming out of the other side that main goes right into the Anderson connector. Also, we're using that bottom connection down there as a little bus bar connection. We have one of these wires. It's gonna go to the negative on the converter charger. The other negative is coming around over the top into our six-way fuse block. So that's all the components inside. Let's take a look at this thing in a full operation mode. So yeah, check it out, the final product, right? We have all of our ports, everything's working. We have two portable 12 volt refrigerators plugged in and operating. We have our laptop computer charging. We have our cell phone charging and still have plenty of capacity to add more USB uh, C accessories, USB accessories. You see the refrigerators are plugged into the 12 volt ports right here. Right, everything's operating nicely. Right, have an on off button to charge. I just turned that on, and you can see that it is charging. Right, each USB uh, port outlet has this little on off button. And you can see here we have the lead time battery monitor giving us all the information. Right now, we're running 6.67 uh, amps, 6.7 amps draw off of the battery. We're at 98% battery charge, uh, 97 amp hours left in the battery. So yeah, you can see here, this is super versatile the way it is. This is just the 12 volt section. We still have the uh, inverter section and the, the uh, solar charge controller section that we're gonna stack on top of this. But if you look around the side here, right? Here's our little access port, right? If we wanna charge this with shore power, all we gotta do is get our cord from shore power, plug that in, that 55 amp uh, VVOR battery charger in there is gonna charge up that lead time 100 amp hour battery in less than two hours from completely empty. We're never gonna even have this thing down to completely empty. If you see here on the side, you can see we have our Anderson port ready to go for our additional unit that's gonna sit on top of this. Let's go ahead and grab that, put it on top, show you what it's gonna look like. These modular boxes just stack nice and neat. Pull the little clips out. All right, everything's good. 
Look, we're locked into place now. See, our next phase in this project, we are going to put the solar charge controller in here. We're going to put the inverter in here. We're going to have some 120 volt outlets that actually have more USB ports on it. We have to put our Anderson connector here so we can tie the two in together, uh, seamlessly integrate the two components together. So that's our next phase, building this box out, show you the whole thing complete. Phase one, I mean, it turned out really good. It looks good, super functional, I'm happy with it. So stick around to the next episode while we build phase two. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.